everyone, you know what? I feel like playing some Mario World. So, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's a W, not an M. Wario World, a fairly unknown game for the Nintendo GameCube. Released in 2003, this game has flown under the radar for many years now. But let me tell you, this game is an absolute hidden gem. Now, when the game was new, it did relatively well, selling over 250,000 copies in North America alone. The game was even put into the player's choice lineup of games. However, fast forward to the present, Wario World is a fairly unknown game to the general public. The only game Wario has to call his own is the WarioWare games, and those are... Alright, to say the least. And that's why today, I'll be showing you why this game is by far Wario's best game. So, to start off, let's discuss the story. So, in the beginning, Wario's just chilling in his castle, then BAM, he gets robbed of his treasures and his castle. So, then Wario sets out on his journey to reclaim his stuff. Pretty simple story, however, it does do some fun things at the end. So, you know in Luigi's Mansion, depending on how much treasure you collect, you can get Luigi a new mansion? Well, there's something similar in this game, where depending on how many collectibles you get, you will either be left destitute, or with a new castle. Anyway, moving past the story, how is the game? Well, the game's kinda weird. So, this is a 3D platformer, however, not like Mario or Sonic. The best way I can describe it is a hack and slash, with some 3D platforming involved. However, moving away from the actual gameplay, there are three worlds for you to explore, and the worlds are set up with two fairly long stages to go through before you get to the boss. And the bosses in this game are... questionable, to say the least. It's like Nintendo went... Alright guys, we've got a serious issue here. We need to find some way to make this game really appealing to the 2003 Cool Kid demographic. And someone in the back of the conference room went... Alright guys, hear me out on this one. But we add a bikini onto that lizard. And from that day on, something that my nightmares do not need was born. However, getting back to the stages, there are some incredibly annoying parts to these things. For instance, if you fall off the stage, you don't die. You go into this weird dungeon thing where you have to break a bunch of boxes until you find a spring that sends you back up to the top. However, to balance out this negative with a positive, Wario World has a great soundtrack. Oh my god, why doesn't anybody talk about this? This is so good. Though, thankfully, the good outweighed the bad for most reviewers. Because Wario World got an average of 70% upon release. The only consistent criticism of the game is its length, clocking in at around 6 hours. Although, sadly, similar to several games on the GameCube, Wario World has never been ported to any other platforms, leaving it to be an obscure gem of the GameCube's library. And that was Wario World, a fun hidden gem of the GameCube's library that has to be at least one of Wario's best games out there. I was specifically targeting WarioWare fans with that comment.